Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you which are the abnormal shape of red blood cell in the peripheral smear so we will talk regarding the shape abnormality of RBC in the PS so the variation in the shape of red blood cell is known by the name poikilocytosis right and it is a feature of uh, many anemias so in the many anemia shape abnormality of rbc can be seen so let's to begin with the first abnormal shape of rbc that is sickle cell the sickle cell is a elongated narrow red blood cell with a pointed end so you can imagine that it resemble like that of sickle and that's why the name sickle cell is given the sickle cell red blood cell form mainly due to lack of oxygen whenever the rbc doesn't get oxygen they will converted into sickle cell and it's particularly seen in sickle cell anemia or sickle cell trait see interesting fact is that it is not seen in neonate because of presence of hbf which prevent the sickling right so this particular diagram showing you a sickle rbc so it's a case of sickle cell anemia this is again showing a sickle cell red blood cell all right so this was about the sickle cell rbc now second abnormal shape is cystocyte which can also be seen in ps these particular cells are fragmented or broken red blood cell and they have the surface projection over that right over the surface over the surface of rbc projection or spicule are present and they can be of helmet crescent or triangle shape right see friends uh, the cystocytes are mainly seen in hemolytic anemia all type of hemolytic anemia will show a cystocyte cystocyte red blood cell it can also be seen in microangiopathic hemolytic anemia cystocyte can also be seen in cardiac valve prosthesis patient and fourth one it can be seen in severe burn patient mainly it is seen in hemolytic anemia so this particular peripheral smear image showing you a cystocyte broken red blood cell right all right this is also showing a triangular shape and helmet shape of broken red blood cell all right now target cell this is a third abnormal shape of red blood cell so friends uh, this particular rbc is showing you a bull's eye appearance why why it is like show because there is a presence of central area and the peripheral stain rim with the unstained cytoplasm in between this stain area right it resemble like bull's eye and these target cells are particularly seen in sickle cell anemia then in thalassemia right it is seen mainly in hemoglobinopathies like that of uh, hbc hbd punjab right so sickle cell thalassemia all are example of hemoglobinopathy in which target cell can be seen splenectomy individual will also show a target cell sometime obstructive jaundice patient also so a target cell in the liver disease also it can be seen so this is the beautiful diagram of target cell it resemble like bull's eye appearance it is very easy to diagnose all right now fourth abnormal shape of rbc is burr cell it is also known by its another name that is echinocyte and in this particular abnormal shape there is a presence of regularly place small projection over the red blood cell surface there is a regularly placed projection over rbc and it is mainly seen in uremia it is seen in chronic kidney disease so this is the image of bar cell you can see the uniform small projection over the red blood cell it's a uniform now suppose this projection is not uniform then it is known by the name acanthocyte so it is a fifth abnormal rbc abnormal shape of rbc here you have the irregular space and variable length of projection over the rbc it's not uniform and it is seen in liver disease and following splenectomy patients and in hemolytic anemia it is mainly seen in hemolytic anemia here you can see that these are the acanthocyte irregularly space projection of variable length right projection is not uniform all right now sixth abnormal shape of rbc is a teardrop cell so the name is given because it looks like an 
tapering drop like so it is known by the name dacrocyte also and it's mainly seen in myelofibrosis of bone marrow and the myelophthisic anemia of bone marrow so here you can see a target cell uh, sorry a teardrop cell it is also very easy to diagnose now seventh abnormal shape of rbc is a blister cell it can also be seen in peripheral smear right here what happened the hemoglobin condenses away from the cell membrane of rbc so it is called so it is also called as an hemicoast cell right it is a blister cell it is particularly seen in g6pd deficiency anemia patient in which the patient cannot withstand the oxidative stress that's why these cells are formed you can see uh, these are the blister cell right all right now the last abnormal shape of red blood cell is bite cell it is due to removal of hens body from from the rbc by the pitting action of spleen and the name given because here the part of red blood cell will be bitten off and that's why the name bite cell is given it is also seen in g6pd deficiency anemia thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video Till then, take care and bye-bye.